Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy, and today I would like to show you how to create a roller coaster VR game, basically from nothing, completely from scratch. The only thing that you need is Unreal Engine. Somewhere here on the screen you can see how it will look like, so let's stop wasting your time and get to work. Alright, let's get started. I will create it for it completely new project, so let's click on a game, and by the way I'm using version 4.26, but it doesn't really matter. The project will be of course virtual reality, let's click next, and you can name it however you want, and let's switch it to mobile and tablet, because you will probably want to deploy it on Oculus Quest. All right, that's cool, create a project. All right, in my case it's compiling shared shaders, you can ignore that, but what you for sure want to do is to go to project setting once you start and find here forward rendering or forward shading and then switch it. That's much better for VR. It will restart the project and probably compile a lot of shaders in your case, so you just wait and blah blah blah. You can do it on the end of the tutorial, so you don't have to wait. That's better. Let's click back and it should get us to virtual reality, PP, maps, and we will want to use motion controller map. Where you can use your motion controller and everything here is set up and prepared. Now let's get back into content and create here a new blueprint. First of all we will create card, so something that will actually write on that roller coaster. So right click and create here blueprint class and that class will be of course actor. And let's call it card underscore BP. Alright, let's open that and let's use something for some visual representation. So let's do here a cube. Something like that. You can put it in the game. Well, that's probably not what I wanted, but hey. We can work with it later, it's just to represent it. So, let's go into event graph and we will have to create here custom event. So, let's right click and create here add custom event. And that custom event will be move card. And first thing we will create is a timeline. So, let's add here timeline, add timeline and call it moving card. Alright, you can leave that like that. Let's open that and we will add here a float track. Right, let's leave that flow track as it is, add here a key on time 0 and value 0 and let's add here another one for our time of 1 and value of 1 as well. And it will be probably better if we smooth it down, so let's create here auto key interpretation. And let's make sure that we use last keyframe, that basically means that it will end after here. It will end after it gets to that one second and it won't try to finish all these five seconds which is set to length. You can set the length to one second and it will be the same thing. Alright, let's get back to event graph and we will promote it to variable and let's call it a blend or alpha or something like that. So let's do blend and ignore that for now because now we need to create another blueprint. So let's right click and create here blueprint class actor and call it spline underscore bp. Alright, let's open that and what you want to do is to add here a simple spline. Oh no, just a spline. Alright, add that thing here. Now if we get back into card pp, this one, let's add here a reference for that. So we will take our variable, click on plus and set it to, leave it like that and set it here to our spline. So let's put here in the search bar spline. We have here spline bp and set it to exactly that so spline pp and object reference all right that's cool and make sure that it's public variable and we should of course name it somehow so let's call it spline underscore ref as a reference all right now when we have that we can close spline bp won't need that and now on every update what we want is to set war um, not a world but set actor location and rotation from here so Let's put it from here and set actor rotation and location right here. But now we of course need to get that loca location and rotation from somewhere. And we'll for that use our spline reference. So let's get it here. And we want to have reference exactly for that spline. So let's put here a spline. And we will head, we'll have here get, get spline right here on the bottom. And now from there, let's get a rotation at distance along spline, I believe. And the same thing with uh, rot location. So get location at distance along spline, blah, blah, blah. And make sure that both of these are set to world. But now we, of course, have to get our distance. And for that, we will use our wonderful blend. So move that bit down. And we can, of course, set our rotation and location. Da, da, da. But now it won't actually do anything. But let's get our spline ref again and from here again our spline let's take both of them no need to call it again 
and from here let's take our spline length so get oh come on <laughs> get spline length add here a larp so right click larp connect it to b and as our alpha let's set our blend get blend connect it right here a a leaf to zero b of course to this thing and blend to alpha so now let's connect it to our distance that should be everything for our moving along that spline so now what we can simply do is to start it on event begin play so let's put it event begin play and call move card but before that we of course have to create that spline so let's close this thing and add save everything save selected and let's take here our spline and you have to click exactly on point of that spline and you can move it change it a little bit etc etc and let's say that I want to add here, of course, more of them. And I will have to hold Alt and move it. Yep. Have to hold Alt and move it to create more of them. So let's create something like that in here. All right. Now let's take our card, put it in here. And we set it as public variable. So make sure that you set your spline reference to your spline. All right. Click on save current and we will click on simulate. Oh, that was moving a bit too fast, but hey, it worked. I would say that it won't, but that would make a lot of people motion sick, which is exactly what I'm going for. So let's see if we can change that speed somehow. Uh, back in card BP, let's put here play, play rate for our moving card. So let's take moving card. If you click on event graph, you should have here move card. Uh, oh no, that's a moving card. I want to do in variables maybe in components. Yep, uh, it's in variables components moving card. Let's take it, get it, and you want to set play rate. All right, and connect it right in here. If it will be zero, it of course won't play at all. Let's just create here new variables. So let's promote this one, even though we won't actually use it, and make sure it's public as well, so you can change it in the game and set it to speed. All right, and what I want to do is to create here a simple math. So let's get speed and divide it. So float divided by float and the other way around actually. One divided by our speed and set it in here. All right, connect it right here. And let's see if it works. And let's do here one more hack because I don't want it to stop on af only after one circle. Let's take our move card and call it again once that will be finished. So it will be forever moving, moving, and moving. And I'll click on play. Nothing is happening and that's because we have our speed set to zero, which means that we are effectively divided one by zero, which is nonsense. All right, so if we set it on one, it should be our default speed. So let's do that. And for some reason it's not moving again, but we will fix that later. Let's slow it down. So let's say that I want it to be on zero two speed. And that was way too fast. I actually have to go higher if, I, if I'm dividing. Yeah, that's smart for you. And that's a bit slower. Let's set it to 10. That should be better. And here you go. You can see how it is moving quite smoothly between these points. That's really co very cool. So now let's see why it's not moving forever as I promised it will. All right, the problem is pretty simple. It was just this uh, bit of a mistake. I set moving card to play and you of course have to always play from the start. So let's set it here. And it will also have this bit slower star, a bit slower start. So if I move it on approximately same place with this spline, let's put it in here and let's actually move it. Let's actually add here a few things. Let's go up a bit. So this thing will go higher and create here a bit of a actual roller coaster. By the way, you can of course add here some mesh and make it actually look good. And if you are interested in a roller coaster game or other VR games that I'm making, somewhere here is my Instagram, you can watch that. Uh, check out things that I do there. That was quite a bit of a plug. <laughs> anyway, let's connect this thing. And we should have some really nice roller coaster. Let's click back on our card and set speed to, let's do four and make sure that it's connected to from play from start. So let's click on play and we should have here something wonderful like that. It will slow down for a bit right here and then right again. You can see it's rotating also here. So one way is to, of course, move it all up. I would move the whole actor up. So make sure that you select the whole spline, put it up 
and change here the rotation you can rotate it a little bit so it's not rotating that much and of course I have to test it and see how it does yeah something like that the problem was that I have a now here different rotation on the end point and start point but you can change that and tweak it for yourself all right so now roller coaster is basically done but now you of course want it to be VR roller coaster so let's make sure that we can put our VR pawn in there so if you are not sure and this is pretty simple folder structure so click just on virtual reality bp blueprints and find here motion controller pawn which is exactly this one and that's the one that we are using in vr template so what you simply want to do is to put this actor on top of this card and also attach it so it travels with it so simplest way is probably to create some reference in our card so let's go back into card bp in viewport and let's add here arrow that's my favorite way to reference something so let's put here an arrow put it right here and now let's back into motion controller pawn and on event back in play we already have here some functions so let's ignore that and on our sequence let's create another one let's move it right here and get actor of class right here and that class will be of course card card bp and from our card bp you want to reference to that arrow so we will get arrow and you want to set location for this whole actor so let's set actor location oh come on set actor location and the location will be simply taken from our arrow so let's get world location and connect it right here connect it like this to do, do wonderful but that will just spawn an actor to location of that arrow what i actually want to do is to attach it so let's attach our actor to a component and we can attach it to an arrow if you make sure that it's under that cube i will i kind of prefer it to have it under cube and attach it to only component not the actor it seems to work a bit better but it probably doesn't matter honestly so what i want to do is to attach actor to component let's connect that pin and target will be of course self which means this motion controller pawn but our parent should be arrow well, let's connect it right here and make sure that you change it our location to keep world all of these to keep world all right compile and we can kind of test it if we click on play you can see that these hands are attached to it and if you look at your player at the camera of your player that I have on the right here you can see that it's moving with it that's pretty cool let's slow it down a bit let's set speed to 10 and test it all in VR how that looks like and you can of course change these splines create here different roller coaster model your own roller coaster and all this funny stuff and all right I would say that it works pretty cool I just put on the headset and here I'm on a this weird flying roller coaster all right it's just weird flying things but let's pretend that it's a roller coaster Anyway, yay! I guess that we got everything that we wanted. Yeah, you can make a roller coaster game and publish it and make a lot of money with it, I hope. Good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, that's everything for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something. Now you can make your roller coaster game. And if you are interested in project files, they are somewhere on my Patreon. So you can have a link in the description, of course. And huge thank you everyone who is already supporting me there. You are absolutely wonderful guys and girl, girls, whatever. Let's... You are wonderful. <laughs> All right, that's about it. I hope. Yeah, I already said that. Anyway, surfancy out.